So let's look at how to create a percentage change calculation in Google Sheets. This happens anytime you have two numbers and you want to calculate the percentage of the difference between them. So what you have to do in this case is determine which one is the original or the old one and which one is the new or the updated one. And so in a example here where we have a monthly basis, this would be your original and this would be your new. And then when you go to March, February would be old and March would be your new. But in a case like this, we're just going to have to determine which one is our original and which one is our new or updated one. And then what we want to do first is determine the difference between these two. So in this case, we can do equals and take the new or updated one minus the old or original one. And that gives us a difference. And this could be plus or minus. In this case, it's plus. It doesn't show the plus, but if we do a nine, for example, it will show the negative. So once we have the difference, then we can simply take the difference and divide it by the original. And then here we have 10%. Now it may show up as a number like this, 0.1. And in this case, you can simply click on this format as percent to make that show up as a percentage. Now, sometimes you don't have the space or you don't want to calculate the actual numeric difference. In that case, you can do that inside of this cell. So then what we do is instead of this E4, we need to calculate the difference right there in the same formula. So how would we do that? So again, we can start with our change. So our new minus our old, and then we need to divide it by the old or the original. Now, in this case, it's not giving us the correct result. And so it's giving us 114, which isn't exactly right. And so the reason is because it's dividing C8 divided by C8 and then subtracting that from D8. So we need to put some parentheses around this. So that way Google knows we need to do this first, calculate the difference before we divide by the original. And now at this point, we have 0.15. We convert back to percentage. We can see we have 15%. And so now we have our change calculation. And so if you look at this, we have our new minus our original or old divided by the old. And I have that here in text down below, just as a reference point. So let's look at when we're looking at, for example, on a monthly, and this could be monthly, weekly, daily, whatever it is, and you want to calculate the percent change as you go along. So in this case, we can't really do anything here because we don't have December here to do anything. So I'm just going to put a dash as a placeholder. And then starting in February, now we have our new or updated and our original. So first of all, we can calculate our difference by doing equals. And then Google is automatically giving us a suggestion. And so if this is what you need, you can go ahead and just hit tab and, and accept that. But if you need to build it from scratch, if Google isn't giving you this, then what we need to do is new minus original. And then we can wrap this in parentheses and then divide it by the original. And go ahead and hit enter. And then at this point, we can drag this down because each time we drag it down, that reference is changing and updating automatically. So if we drag this all the way down, we can see we have that right now it's in decimal notation, however, so we can select this, hit our format as percentage. And now we can see that in February, our sales were up 2.18%. And then in March, it dropped 27.1 from February and so forth. So that is it for our percentage change calculation for today. If you want to take a look at how to add some conditional formatting and up or down arrows to these to turn them into trend indicators, take a look at the video that we're going to recommend at the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.